In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can add an affiliate disclaimer message to your WordPress website. This is a really important thing to do if you're running an affiliate website because the FTC over in America require that you make it really, really clear that you're an affiliate and that you're gonna earn some commission if someone uses your links. Also, Amazon are getting quite strict about this too. Again, you need to make it really clear that the links to Amazon are affiliate links and you will earn a commission if someone clicks through and makes a purchase. Now you might be thinking, Alex, didn't you do a video on this just the other week? Well, yeah, I kind of did. It was this video here where I was talking about the email that a number of you got from Amazon stating that you do need to make it really clear that you're using affiliate links. And within that video, I also showed you how to add the message using Elementor Pro. Now, shortly after that video went live, I started getting quite a few comments from people uh, like this one and this one, basically saying the way that I did it in that video using a global widget was probably not the best way to do it. And if I'd have used something like the Elementor Pro template editor, that would have been a quicker and easier way of doing it. People are also saying that a plugin might also be a good way to do it, especially for those of you that aren't running Elementor Pro. As well as those comments, I also got a few comments and questions like this one and that one regarding uh, WooZone and e-commerce affiliate websites. So basically saying, you know, if you're running products, do you need this message? And if so, how do you add it? Well, you do need the message. And yeah, I didn't cover that at all in the last video. So that's what this video is for. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So to make it easy, I've broken the video down into four parts. You'll find the timings to the individual parts in the description. But basically the first two parts, I'm gonna be adding it to uh, WordPress posts. So that's like your articles. First part, I'm gonna be using a plugin. So that should work with pretty much any theme that you're running. And it doesn't matter if you're not running Elementor. The second part is for those of you that are running Elementor. And we're gonna be using Elementor Pro to edit the uh, templates and easily roll it out across all of our posts. And then the final two parts of the video, I'm gonna be working on my WooZone sites and we're gonna be adding it with a plugin. That's the third part of the video. And then the fourth part, we're gonna be using Elementor Pro again to edit the product layout and the product template uh, and adding a really nice message really easily. So hopefully this video has got you covered regardless of the type of affiliate marketing website you happen to be running. So in this tutorial, there is a little bit of copying and pasting and there's a little bit of CSS and a little bit of HTML. You'll find everything that I use over on wpeagle.com. There's a link in the description and I'll put a link up in a card now. So yeah, go check that out because you're probably gonna need that bit of code in order to get everything up and running. So anyway, that's enough intro. I'm confident that this video should help you out regardless of the type of affiliate marketing website you're running. As I said, remember to check out the timings in the description if you wanna quickly jump forward to the section that's relevant for you. Anyway, I wish you the best of luck with this. Uh, let's get on the computer, let's get it done. In this part of the video, we're gonna be adding our disclaimer, disclosure, whatever you wanna call it, using a plugin. So this should work with pretty much any theme and it will work if you're running Elementor or any of the other page builders. Although, don't quote me on that, I haven't tested it with all of them, but I have tested it with Elementor and I've tested it on a couple of different themes and it all seems to work fine. You are gonna need a little bit of custom CSS just to get it looking really nice. And you can find that code over at wpeagle.com. You'll find a link in the description to the post on my website uh, all about this video and you'll find all the code and bits and bobs that you need there. So let's get it done. I'm using bestroofbox.com as the example site in this video. I'm already logged in, so let's go into the dashboard and let's add the plugin. I'm gonna go plugins and add new. Then up here, I'm gonna type in add to all. It's this little plugin up here with the toolbox. Let's click install now. That's installed, let's click activate. There we go, that's installed and activated. Here it is, let's click on settings. And the section we want in here is content. But you can add stuff wherever you like, really. If you want it in the header or the footer or not even in the feed, but yeah, we're gonna add it to our content. So if we scroll down, you've got a few options here. You can add stuff to the homepage and other views 
uh, but we want it actually on the single post views. I tick this box to add HTML before content. And then in this box, I'm just gonna paste my message in. And if you wanna borrow my uh, bit of HTML that I'm gonna paste in here, as I said, you'll find everything you need over at wpeagle.com, link in the description. So let's paste. So there we go, that's in there. It's just a little bit of HTML. It just says that we're an affiliate and that we hope you love the products. And just so you know that we may collect a share of the sales we have a conversation from the links on this page. Usual kind of stuff. The important thing is that it's actually uh, wrapped with this div um, to give it a, um, a class. And that's important when it comes to um, styling it with some CSS. So if you're gonna make up your own bit of HTML, just make sure that you wrap it with this, um, this div, otherwise the CSS bit's not gonna work. So uh, let's uh, click Save Changes. By the way, I should say, if you do paste this into your site and you just wanna change the text, then you know just change the bit here between the two P tags, and this is the heading here. Uh, change that too. Of course, you can adjust the HTML if you want. For example, you might wanna set that as a H3 or something like that. You just uh, switch out this P for whatever kind of header you'd like. Anyway, let's put that back to um, P. Okay, I'm just gonna save that one more time. Let's have a look at what that looks like before we add any CSS, just to check that it's working. I'm just gonna open the front of the site in a new tab. Oh, it's put it on the home page. I didn't, I didn't want it to do that. We'll sort that out in a second. <laughs> but let's just have a look at a post as well. There it is, and kind of uh, blends in with the, the content. So we need to you know, make it a different color, make it stand out. And we'll also remove it from the home page. Although it shouldn't have done that because I didn't you know, put it in the home page box, but uh, never mind, we'll get, uh, get away around it. The way we're gonna get around it is we're just gonna exclude the home page. To do that, we need to find out the page ID. So if I hover up here on edit page, look down um, to the bottom left of my browser, I can see that post equals five. So the ID of the home page is five. If we pop back to our add to all settings, go into content, we've got this thing here, exclude display on these post IDs, stick five in. Now the number for your homepage may be different, so be sure to check that. And let's refresh. There we go, we've got, got rid of it off the homepage. I don't think it's needed on the homepage because I don't have any affiliate links um, on the homepage. And I just said the homepage quite a lot there, <laughs> didn't I? Anyway, let's style it up. To style up the uh, message, I'm gonna come into Appearance and then Customize. And I've got some CSS that I prepared earlier which again, you'll be able to find over on wpeagle.com, so you can just copy and paste it straight in as well. I've got it in my clipboard, so let's paste it in like that. And of course, if you're confident and familiar with CSS, you can adjust these colors here. That's the background color, the border stuff is there. Yeah, play around with it if you want to, but you know, it doesn't look too bad as it comes. So I'll just click published up there, or publish even. And let's have a look at one of our posts. Hey, look at that, doesn't that look nice? Now actually, it looks like there's a little bit too much margin at the bottom, doesn't it? So if you need to adjust the margin, you've got this margin bottom here. You know, Maybe knock that down to 20, let's have a look at that. Yeah, that's a little bit better. So that's that done, that's adding the message using a plugin, should work with all themes, etc. Let's move on to adding it to posts with Elementor Pro. So in this second part of the video, we're gonna be adding our message using Elementor Pro. You will of course need an Elementor Pro license. I'll put a link up now. It is an affiliate link, I do really appreciate it. If you use any of my links, I do earn a small commission and it really helps me out. With Elementor Pro, you get a whole load of extra features. Um, all of them are listed over on the website, to, so do go check those out. You also get access to support and, and all that kind of stuff. So it's worth the $49, I think it is, for the, the single license. It's certainly worth it um, to upgrade to Elementor Pro. Now, I've already got Elementor Pro installed on bestroofbox.com, so we can jump straight into it. Let me go into my dashboard. 
I'm gonna go into this template section and go into Theme Builder. Then in here, we're gonna click Add New. And we're basically gonna create a brand new template for our blog posts. So as well as adding this message, you can do whatever you like, really. Uh, to be honest, that's probably for another video, <laughs> all that stuff. But I think you'll see that it's actually really easy to adjust the layout of your, um, your posts. So I select single here in terms of the template I wanna work on. Post type is post, but of course you could do it for pages as well. But I thought generally your affiliate content is gonna be on posts. Let's give it a name, let's call it affiliate disclosure. Disclaimer, disclosure, I don't know what the best word is, but we'll go with disclosure. Click create template. Now we can drop in one of these blocks if we like. Obviously that will radically change the uh, layout of my post, I don't wanna do that right now. So I'm actually just gonna close the library. We'll just start with this blank canvas. First thing I need to do is get the layout uh, right and my posts at the moment have the content on the left and then they have a sidebar down the right. So to replicate that, I need to click on the little plus and select my structure. So I'm going with this one here. Then we can start dropping some elements in. So first things first, let's add the featured image. I think large is about right. Could be large or full, doesn't seem to make much difference, let's go with large. And then down the right hand side, let's add our sidebar. So I'm just going back to the widgets by clicking on this little square thing up the top. Scrolling down and then we get to general. And then in here, we've got sidebar, so drag that over there. Choose the sidebar. Mine's called sidebar, which is kind of handy. There it is. Next, let's add the post title. Drop that in here. That looks quite big. I don't know if it was that big before. Adjust the size here. Excel's even bigger. Large, that looks about right. We'll go with that. Leaving it as a H1, that's a good thing to do for SEO. Next, we'll drop in the post content. Put that there. And we're about ready now to add our message. And I've just noticed that, I don't know if it was like this before, the title doesn't quite match up with the content. So let's just click on the title, go into advanced. Let's add a little bit of padding. I'm gonna change this to EM. And then I'm gonna unclick the chain and I'm going to add a little bit of left padding. I reckon about half an EM would be about right. Yeah, look at that, that looks better. Oh, I don't know why I clicked that, didn't need to. Right, so let's add our affiliate message. I'm gonna do that with an alert. Um, if I can see alert. There it is. I'm gonna drop it between the title and the content. Then I'm gonna put my message in. We're an affiliate. I've actually got the rest of the text in my clipboard ready to go, let's just paste it in. There it is. Now I'm gonna turn off the dismiss button, put that to uh, hide. I'm gonna change the type to a success because it makes it nice and green. You can customize the colors and stuff to your heart's uh, desire in here, but you know, for ease and speed today, I'm just gonna go for success. Now, I think we're about done, let's click publish. And here we can decide where we want this template to display. I'm gonna put it on all my posts, but you might wanna put it on certain posts that are in a you know a category. You come in here, you then can choose your category, like we've got a category called buyer's guides. I could you know just make it show on those posts, or you could use a tag, so you could just tag up the posts that you wanna show the message on and, and then select that in here. But for now, I'm gonna go for all, cover all the posts, because I think pretty much all of my posts probably do contain an affiliate link somewhere. So just to make sure I'm well covered, that'll be fine. Let's click save and close. It says it's all done. So I'm just gonna pop over in another tab and just go over to the site and have a look. And let's have a look at a post, this one will do. There it is, looking good. 
So that's how you do it with Elementor Pro. In this, the third section of this video, we're gonna be adding our message to a WooCommerce site, or it might be a WooZone site if you follow one of my previous tutorials. But as you know, WooZone is powered by WooCommerce, so this will work with any WooCommerce site. You don't necessarily have to be running WooZone, but if you are, it'll work fine with that as well. So I'm over at Beer Shirts. Do you remember this one? It's a site I created quite some time ago. It's a very basic um, e-commerce site. Um, very basic Amazon affiliate e-commerce site, I should say, just runs the storefront theme. So what we're about to do now should work with any WooCommerce site that's running you know, a WooCommerce theme. We're gonna be using a plugin, so uh, we should probably install that right now. I'm already logged into the site, let's go into the dashboard, and then plugins and add new. So the plugin we're gonna be using, I'm gonna type it into this keyword box up here, it's called WooCommerce. Single product page customizer. Very short, snappy name, isn't it? Uh, here it is, it's this one here. It's got a little kind of cog thing for the icon. Let's click install now. There we go, let's click activate. That's all ready to go. Actually, what I should show you probably before we go much further is what the product looks like at the moment. That'd be a good thing to do. Let's have a look at one, this lovely beer t-shirt. So it looks like this at the moment. See, there's no message or anything. So we need to add something. I'm gonna add it you know, right across the top here so it's very clear. So let's go back into the dashboard. We've got a new option now under WooCommerce called Single Product Page Customizer. And here it is, I mean, it looks, mm, I don't know what it looks, but <laughs> anyway, this is basically just showing you where you can add stuff if you want to. So, you know, you can add it wherever you like, but I'm gonna add it right across the top here, as I said. But yeah, if you wanna put it somewhere else, just choose a different location or position, I think they're called here. And we're gonna add a new position right now by clicking on this button. So this is how you choose where to put it. I'm gonna leave it right at the top, so number one WooCommerce before single product. Uh, and in this box here, we can add our HTML. So I've got some HTML ready to paste in. And as I've already said a few times in this video, you can find all of the HTML and CSS that I use in this tutorial over at wpeagle.com. There is a link in the description and all you need to do then is just copy and paste it straight into your website. Now before I paste, I'm gonna to switch to the text editor. Then I'm gonna paste. Get rid of that extra bit of space up there, don't need that. Now the message is slightly different um, to the ones that I've been adding to just the usual kind of posts. It just says that you know if you use a link or if you add a product to your basket and check out at Amazon, then you know we get a share of commission, whatever. If you're gonna put your own HTML in here, um, just make sure that you've divved it up with a class so that you can apply some CSS. But if you're not sure what I'm talking about, then just copy and paste exactly what I've done. You can, of course, change the message, just change this bit of text here between the P, the P's. Okay, so let's click Update. Now that should have added something. Let's go back to our product and refresh. There it is. It obviously needs a little bit of styling, so let's do that now. Come back into the back end, go to appearance and customize. And then in here, we'll go to additional CSS. And I've got a bit of CSS in my clipboard I'm just gonna paste in. Again, just kind of copy and paste it from my website, link in the description. So let's paste, there we go. And click publish. And then if we refresh, there's a nice big message. I don't think anyone's gonna miss that. Now I think that looks fine. You might wanna change that to a heading possibly. Uh, if, you, if you do wanna do that, simply go back in to your dashboard and back into the single product page customizer, click edit. And you just highlight that, make it a, you know, I don't know, heading four, that might be all right. 
And we can come back in and refresh. Just makes it a little bit bigger. Maybe that looks better, I don't know, it's up to you. So there we go, we're all done. That is how you add your message to your WooCommerce products using a plugin. In the final section, which is coming up next, we're gonna be adding um, pretty much the same message, but we're gonna be using Elementor Pro to add it to some WooCommerce products. Let's go. So in this final part of the video, I'm gonna be adding our affiliate disclaimer message to some WooCommerce, WooZone products using Elementor Pro. So you will of course need Elementor Pro. You'll find a link in the description so you can get your hands on a copy. I do appreciate if you use any of my links um, because they are affiliate links, so I will earn a small commission if you do so, and it uh, you know, really helps me out. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. So once you've got Elementor Pro installed, which I already have on this site, I suggest you then go and watch a, another video of mine, um, which I'll put a card up now, and I'll also put a link in the description. It's a video I did only a, a few weeks ago where I basically customized the look and feel of my products because we're basically gonna need a custom product template. So mine look like this. Yeah, do go check out that video. And then once you've done that, you're then ready to do this bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit this template by going into the dashboard, going into templates and then theme builder. And here is my um, Elementor template for products called Pimped Up Product. And click Edit with Elementor. And here it is. So I'm gonna add the message to the top here. So I'm just gonna click on the little plus to add an extra area, extra section. I'm gonna add the alert widget. So I'm just gonna do a search for alert, drag that in over here. That's a little bit wide. So I'm just gonna right click and edit the section and then I've got this width slider here, just gonna make it about the right width. There we go. Perfect. Then we just need to add our text. So um, there's the heading. I've got the uh, description or whatever, the rest of the text in my clipboard. So I'm just gonna paste that in like that. Now, of course, feel free to um, borrow this text, just copy and paste it off here, or go to wpeagle.com, you'll find a link in the description directly to the post where you'll find everything that I use in this video and you can just copy and paste it for your own sites. So that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna turn off the dismiss button. I'm gonna make it green by switching it to a success message. Now, it does seem a little bit high. I'm wondering if we need to just remove a little bit of um, padding or whatever's causing this extra space at the top. So I'm gonna right click on here, go edit section, go into advanced. And yeah, we've got this 5% padding at the top. Let's um, just drop that out. I mean, we're gonna need a little bit. One, two, two looks good. Actually, I'm wondering if we need a little bit at the top here as well. So let's just right click and edit that section. Go into advanced. Switch this to percentage, top. Oh, hang on, let's just un unlink them by clicking the chain. There we go, two again I think is fine. Let's click update. Then let's go and take a look. Uh, view page, actually I think that's just gonna show us the template. Ah, it's not quite wide enough, it still looks fine. You could play around with that width for as long as you like, but that looks fine. Let's have a look at an actual product. Here we go. There we go, that looks great. Maybe you could have it a little bit wider, but you know, I'm not bothered, it looks fine. So there we go, we're all done. That's how you add your affiliate disclaimer to your WooCommerce products using Elementor Pro. That brings the end of this video. Hope you found it useful. Let me know how you got on in the comments. You can leave a message about whatever you like, really. I do read all of the comments that I get, and I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're not already subscribed, you can do so by clicking on my face up uh, there somewhere. Uh, why not check out my vlog channel? Just click on my other face up there. And there's a couple of other videos they've been chosen specially for you. So I hope you enjoy them. Till next time, bye for now.